This is a real Warburg for sure. And we all should pay homage to uh, what it did during the Vietnam War with these guys and over 40,000 pilots trained to fly them. I can imagine being over in Vietnam, you start thinking about a lot of things at home. Mom's apple pie or your dad's Corvette or whatever it happened to be. Yeah. So some of those iconic maybe things from, from that era, timely uh, icons. This, this whole tail moon would be tattooed. Okay. And then as I move up into here, then I would pay homage to the uh, squadrons, right. the helicopter squadrons, by using their names in an artful manner. Just taking delivery of 174, a Huey helicopter. Uh, it's been uh, restored to the point that now I can use it as my canvas to create art out of it for Take Me Home Huey, my project. And I'm going to uh, use the interior, the inside of the cabin, for a time capsule. And I'm also going, thinking I'm going to suspend parts on aircraft cable. Here we are at the Palm Springs Air Museum. I'm here, they, my Huey's in the background, 174. It's going in this military tent that I'm leaning against right here, and it's a big tent. It's 64 feet long by about 24 feet wide by about 15 feet high. And if everything goes well, before the moon comes up tonight, we'll have the tent up. Oh, well, we need an enclosure where we can uh, be fairly secure, keep some of the dust off, so it will uh, be a headquarters for us.